Hello friends and welcome to another rest stream. Uh, tonight, at least my local time, we're going to work on this issue right here, which is issue 205 in the Git UI repo. Now, Git UI is a terminal UI for Git. It looks basically like this. And the problem is we need to update uh, 2e RS to version 0.10, but because of some breaking changes, that's just not a straightforward. Um, just a second. And we're back. Uh, so yes, uh, we're fixing, uh, we're migrating to 2ERS 0.10 from, uh, I think it's 0.9 in the, um, in the cargo tunnel. Let's see, 0.9, yes. So there are some breaking changes. There are not that many, I think. Uh, so it's basically this for easier cursor management. So they've changed how you set the cursor in the terminal. And they've also enabled some more advanced styling options. Oh, that, sorry, that's just my printer going crazy. Okay, I don't know what that's about. Uh, <laughs> just printers being printers, I guess. And there's also some added support for incremental styling of text and blocks and what, what have you. But uh, I don't think that's as important as this top one, I guess. We'll have a look. Um, so I'm thinking my strategy is basically just to update and see how that works out. Changes to 10. And we'll see what breaks, basically. Uh, just a build.
a lot of things apparently. Okay. Uh, oh, not that many. Right. So it's complaining about text a lot of times. That's fine because uh, because it says right here, text has been replaced by the following types: span, spans, and text. So I'm thinking, I'm guessing that text previously meant what span means now, and text is now a multi line, a multi lines string with multiple styles. So these are apparently just single line then. I'm guessing these support some kind of some kind of wrapping maybe. Let's uh, let's have a look here. Start with the first one. Command bar. Okay, what do we have in here? Doesn't look like span is present here. So where did span go? Uh, let's head back to the browser and have a look at docsrs uh, 2ERS. Um, maybe it's just called TUI. Yes, it is. Wonderful. Primitives for styled text, it says. String split over multiple lines. Each line is composed of several clusters, each with their own style. A string world graphemes have same have the same style. A string of clusters of graphemes. Right, so text is a multiple of this, which is a multiple of this, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay, so these have been changed from being widgets to being a primitive. Right. Uh let's see. Does it? Okay. Does it still complain if I try to build? No. Okay, that's interesting. Let's, oh right, I know what this might be actually. Uh, it might be because There is a, they implemented from, where did I see this? Was it, was it here? No. It's probably, yeah, yeah. Because they've implemented from on string slice. And, and that's uh, how, you know, uh, Create writes from implementations to use use simple strings as def uh, as a default and switch to previous primitives when you need additional styling capabilities. I think that's the whole uh, thing here. Uh, but did it use text anywhere before this? It has to though, hasn't it? Text. Uh, text. Yeah, so it uses text raw. What does it think that is now? Don't, doesn't say. Okay, that's interesting. Here there is some text styled. Text raw again. Text styled. Huh. This is in command bar. Maybe it's just moved. No, I'm just gonna go through these and see where it gets us uh, details. Uh, 23 or thereabouts. Let's remove this. Okay, now we're getting some errors. Okay, okay. Uh, 
Uh, let's have a look here. So this used to be textiled. So it's not a text anymore. Now it's a span. Right? So I'm guessing we can do this immediately. And this then becomes a span, which is styled. Is this changed? Yes. Content, and then there's a style. This style can't be right, can it? It's this is uh, theme thing. All right. This returns a style, which is a 2E style. Okay. So we might be able to use continue to use the built uh, or the re custom built theming uh, that's uh, built for Git UI before possibly transitioning over. There is a different issue, uh, 149, which uh, is to remove the custom color type and use the built-in one by 2ERS the pro because 2ERS's style wasn't um, serializable before. But that's been fixed in the O10 update. It says so hereabouts or somewhere. I don't remember. Anyway, it says that it's serializable now, anyways, which is nice. And it would be nice if we didn't have to redo the whole style thing in the same go as we upgrade the thing. So. Let's try to continue this thing. Um, right, so this is just supposed to be raw text, it seems. Can I just do... Yeah, I should be able to spend from, okay. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, let's see, there we go. Okay, let's jump back into the, into the thing. Uh, where was it, commit list. 21, or thereabouts. Text of A. Okay, let's see if that still holds for the span. Okay, that seems fine. Let's do the same here and move on. Commit list and stiff RS in here. And that's going to be line, what was that? 21. To come on, there we go. That one, and here, there we go. And it was external editor line twenty two. No errors. I find that hard to believe. Here we go. Okay. No 
ignore that apparently. File tree, line 20. Uh, yes, this one. Oops. Ah, come on. No, no, no. Import this, that one. Okay. Uh, help. That's what I want to do, 19. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Uh, import with this one. There we go. Is it just the one? No. What's it complaining about? Oh, scrolling apparently. Uh, what's wrong with this? Expected U16, U16, but found it just a U16. Right. So. Did I read something about this in here? Ah, yes. You can now horizontally sc uh, scroll horizontally in paragraph. The argument scroll has just been changed from U16 to a uh, Tuple of you two U two U sixteens. Uh, so I'm guessing that this means that if we look into para, oops, that's not a right paragraph. There we go. Scroll. That's the offset. And what's it say about scroll? Not much. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that this is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to assume this is uh, X and Y. Yes. Well, I'm, uh, so horizontally is new. So previously this just meant how far down you're supposed to go, I'm guessing. But now you have to count for how far to the right you're supposed to go to. So I would assume it's X and Y. So let's see. Okay, so this just sets self.scroll, right? Mm. Impl paragraph, right? Where is, here we go. Yeah, that doesn't help much. Widget, widget to display some text. That's nice. But where does it say which one is which? I'm just going to assume it's X and Y. And if that's the case, then <clears throat> the first one should be zero. And the second one should be whatever that is. Right? I think that makes sense. Oh. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Moving on. Uh, this was help. Uh, let's have a look at... Scroll a bit down. Uh, where were we? Help message. Line 15. Can I do this? I can. Nice. Something new every day. Okay. Did anything break? Yes. This did. And now it takes a wrap, I know. And trim. No. What is it? Was it? It was true before, which means that trim should be true now. Isn't that right? Uh, Where does it say? Uh, more wrapping options. Wrap true. So wrap. Expects a wrap instead of a bool to let users say whether they want to trim white spaces when the text is wrapped. So 
So before it was wrap true. Now it's still a wrap, but you pass in trim true to have the same behavior. And false if you don't want, if you want the new behavior. Which is not to trim the white space. Okay. So if it's true, we will keep it at true. That's easy to remember. And I reset at line 16. That is nice. Okay, I'm not going to believe you. Here we go. I think we can just swap this out, like so. Uh, let's see. Nope, that's the only one. Moving on to text input, line 15. Any errors? Yes. Switch it up for this span. And the span here too. Yeah, so this is small in components, yes. 42. Bloop, bloop. There we go, lots of errors. Wrong number of lifetime arguments. Expected one, found two. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, let's see, let's change this to a span. Same goes here and here. This is now a wrap. With a trim of, oops, not that, with a trim of true. Let's go back up. Wrong number of type arguments, expected zero, found one. Okay, so I'm guessing. I'm guessing the T thing is not necessary anymore because it's the text thing is not a widget anymore. It's a different kind of thing. I'm just gonna do this pretty naively and see where that leads me because they still get all the correct lifetimes and types here i think okay i'm just gonna do that and we'll see if it blows up next time we compile is it still complaining no we'll try that we'll see stashing in this one, yes. Line 23. Here we go. Let's see. One error. Uh, yep. Uh, where were we? Scroll list. Nine, line number six. Uh, let's see, here we go, make this a span, oh, and this one, and this one. Go scroll a bit more over here. So, in the mod, in the UI thing, line 9. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, now I'm all up. There we go. Oh, no. There we go. Like so. Command bar. Oh, I forgot to go to line 134. Yeah, so text row doesn't exist anymore. So we'll do a span. From we'll have to import span. One of those. Try again. Okay, not working. Uh, I think it's just in here now. Is that right? No, no, no. It's in uh, uh, text. The span? No. What was it? 
Oh, it's lowercase text, of course. There we go. That was command bar and more command bar. Line 140. This probably changed. There's down here somewhere. Here we go. It says text. Should be spam. And it's 145, which is now 46. This, uh, yeah, this should be from. And 166. Which is now 147. This is span from onto mod in component again 187. I think we might have fixed this already. Yeah, that's the one we got earlier. And that's the end of the list actually. Okay, let's try another build and see how far. Ooh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is more in line than, <laughs> with what I was thinking we would get. Let's see, where is the top of this? I usually prefer working from the top down. Wait, did I scroll past one of the compiles? Let's see. Uh, Lots of stuff, lots of stuff. More stuff. And presto, here we are. With some details, line 141. Because it's not a thing anymore. Let's use span. But did I remove text from the top here? Apparently. Why would you add span like that? That's just, okay. Does it not automatically, oh, let's see, languages and frameworks, Rust, Comet, unsafe, okay. Hmm, okay, I'll let it slide. Seems a bit weird, but okay. Thought it would do this, but sure. Anyway, we're in details. 155. Span here. 159. Span. Let's see this one and this one. There are apparently more down here. Here we go. Uh, let's see here. And here. And here. Oh man, I just scrolled past a few, I'm guessing them. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, all, all lines, all lines, do a substitution. Where you'll find, hmm, do we need to escape semicolons? Apparently not. Let's just do this to be sure. Substitute that with span colon colon styled. Boom. Uh, moving on from details to, uh, let's see, commit list. Yes. And what we'll do here is actually just the same. Like so. At that point, we had 77 errors. Let's see if it goes down. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
it's just the same. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, there we go. Aha, we also have some text uh, colon colon raw. Let's do the same treatment for those raw. And let's change those to span colon colon from. There we go. Next one up, diff rs. And we'll just start by doing the same for this. Uh, yep. And this one, there we go. And we'll leave it at that for now and move on to the next file with complaints, uh, which is file tree. Should have just done, done this when I did the imports, but um, yeah. Uh, let's see, what was this? Do have some of those. Do we have any of these? No. Okay. Let's move on to help, which is the next on the list. Do we have some styled? Do we have any raws? No. And then it's message. Styled? No. Raw? Yes. Oh, not imported, apparently. Import. None of these. Huh. Okay, not too impressed. Uh, let's just do text spam. There we go. Then it's text input. Text input. And we'll do this one. Then it is scroll, scroll, scroll. Bit more stashing. Span styled and span from. Yep, there we go. Okay, no function or associated item in default found for. TUI, widget, tabs, tabs, in current scope, tabs default, function or associated item not found. Okay, let's have a look at app, line 541. It's complaining about this. So, presumably, oh, that's not the one, here we go. Sorry about the bright light, I should try to warn you, but, um, yeah, just trying to keep you on your toes. Uh, tabs it was. Tabs. It does not implement default. Did it? Did it before? Uh, oh no 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 no! That's not what we want. Oh uh, nine. Ah oh, wow. Why though? Tabs. Okay, it says default there. They removed the default implementation. That's strange. Is it not? But they have a new, which is new. And title's gone away. That's interesting. Okay, so there's this new one, either. anyways. So I'm guessing this is the new default. Oh, and it takes titles as an input now, instead of, uh, let's see. Yeah, so titles, you did the default block and then titles, but now you do tabs new titles, okay. So we'll just change this to new. We'll 
I delete this line and put the tabs in here. And those do not work because they need to be spans now. <clears throat> they actually did this whole thing. That just seems very... I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this span from import none of these it does not find that anymore okay that's interesting there we go okay the trait stand coming from oh it does not support Span from cow. That is interesting. Right, and these shouldn't be... Ah, freaking hell. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, this is still complaining. Because it expected a, a vec. Okay. That's easy enough to fix. There we go. That's a vec. Should stop complaining any second now. Just let it catch up. Should it not? Expected vec found. Oh, it's supposed to be spans. Okay. Oh, because it's collected. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. That is interesting. What if I still keep it as an array? Oh, I'll keep it as an array. That's not how you create an array. That, wow. This is. And I do a collect here. Does that work? Like that? Alrighty then. Yes. Let's move back to this. Uh, let's just do another build and see how <laughs> much we've done wrong. I forgot to put the lowercase s in styled, which is now coming back to hurt me. Am I still not the previous compile point? Oh, crap. 77 errors. Okay, it doesn't go further back than this. Okay, let's just start at the bottom then. Not my preferred way to do it, but sure. Uh, let's see. Yes, I know of some of these. Let's see, style, where are you? Style. So, let's see, the first issue in style is this one on line 64. So this is now called add modifier. And then it's 72. Same goes here. And line 81. Same goes here. And nine one five seven. Same goes here. There we go. Yeah, so a lot of, a lot of these are just it, that it can't find. Uh, let's see that. Yeah. So if we do all lines, substitute, span, colon, colon, styled for span, colon, colon, styled. Yes. Ah, look at all these happy campers. Right. <clears throat> Uh, 
I'm trying to think what the reason might be for using cow strings because those are clone on right. But I'm kind of feeling they might not be necessary anymore because we need to put them into spans anyway. So they're probably going to convert them to some kind of abomination. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that we don't need them. So in theory, I could do some advanced substitution with regexes and what have you. But that's just too difficult. So we're going to do a macro instead. A vim macro, that is. Uh, so let's do this. And we'll do a search for cow, like so. And we'll delete until the parentheses, jump to the next one and delete that. And that's our whole macro, I think. Yeah. And uh, I'll delete this. There we go. All right. Here we go. Uh, it's just. This is going excellently. Okay. Uh, let's see. Text input. Cow not found, but we can do this at least. All right. Message. Uh, nope, not that. Um, None of those. Any cows? No. Mm. Help. Any of these? Yes. Any cows? No. Oh, brother. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's do the this one. No. That didn't work out as I thought it would. Uh, okay. Cancel for everything. Uh, let's just do the cow. And okay. Find three. Got some of those. Have we got any cows? Yes, we do. Actually, let's just do this. So those are the macro. Here we go. Okay, moving on to diff, do this one first, let's look for cows, here we go, and we'll do this, yes, that's right, here it won't work, because we need to do this manually, and, but with this one it does, not with this one, uh, let's see, this one it does, not with this one, this one it does, almost, oh, because, <laughs> wow, okay, okay, there we go, and with this one, this one, this one, That line seemed a bit long, but sure. Okay. Moving on to commit list. Doing this. Looking for cows. <laughs> oh. Uh, 
Yeah, sure. Oh. Let's see. How much are we actually wrapping here? A whole lot. Okay, so we do this and this, I'm thinking. <clears throat> There we go. And let's have a lot of look at the recents. Got a lot of those. We've got a lot of cows, it seems. Whew. This is a VEC of cows. Okay, we're going to come back to this, I think. Sheesh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, those are gonna need a, little, need a bit of work before we can get working. I am guessing. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. all these cows again. There's going to be a bit more work, I'm thinking. So I'll leave those for now and get back to them when once <coughs> the compiler starts complaining. Right, okay. No hits for this. Uh, command bar. There we go. Yeah. Ugh, so this is an iterator of cow. No, wait, wait. Of spam. Cow, I said. Oh, right. Mm. Uh, let's see. Any of these? No. Any of these? No. Right. Reset, any of these, yep. And I see a cow from here. <laughs> uh, that's the only one, actually. Right. Um, this, see, this might be the last one, actually. Let's see here. None of those. And none of those. Okay. Let's try a luck with the compiler and see what it says. Oh, only 25 errors. That's progress. Means we should probably get to the previous compile point. It's somewhere up here. Yes, about here. Here we go. Let's see. Text input. Do we still have some text in here? There we go. Spam. 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 Okay, that's those. A uh, lot of warnings about... Oh, I thought it would remove the imports automatically, but it didn't. Let's see, commit list. Uh, like this, and we've got diff, and there's file tree, there's help. Uh, 
reset and stashing. No method name collect found for reference to a text spam in the current scope. App line 542. Uh, we can just do an int iter. Or can we just do an iter maybe? I'll no, we'll do an int iter. Uh, no reason not to. It's it's um, dropped anyways right after, so probably fine. Well, those are an array. We'll do an iter and see if that works. Okay, five errors down and a few warnings down too. That's good progress. Let's see where. Here's where we compiled last. The trait from iterator is not implemented. Is this what I need to do or is it something else? I'm on a bit shaky ground here. <laughs> Not entirely sure what I'm doing. Let's see. Same number of errors, so that probably didn't help. Let's see. Is this the... Okay, those are not helping me at all. Uh, let's see, they clone them after iterating, then map them to spans, and then collect them. I'm not really sure why I'm not allowed to... Let's just do this. You know what? We're just gonna do the same thing that they do in here. Why make it difficult for ourselves when we don't have to? Uh, yeah. Right, so what they do is iter, clone. Not really sure why I, from I'll just leave it at that and then we do we'll do the collect in here. Calling clone on a string slice. So this is, at this point it's a it's a string slice, right? Yes. Why do we need to clone them first? Can I just skip this step? We'll try, let's we'll see if that works. No, we introduced three errors. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Good work. Let's see, from, right, so it does not like that. Okay, that's why we cloned them. Why not just, it seems such a ways to clone them. Why can't we just make them spans at once then? Like so. Why the extra strip? Extra step of cloning. That's what I don't get. I'm 
Now they're an eater of spans. Of span. We're back to 20 errors. I'm guessing that's one of them. Value of type. A VEC of spans cannot be built from an iterator of span. Okay, so it's complaining these are borrowed. Oops, that's not a good idea. So these are borrowed, these bands in the iterator, but these are not. Oh, right, it's supposed to be a... Oh, it's a spans. Oh, I didn't see. Right. In that case, I'll just do this then. See if that works. Back to 23 errors. Yeah, we're we're not making progress the correct way. Uh, let's see. Did I go too far? I don't think so. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, do the need own strings, maybe? Spans. Those. Yeah, they do. No. That's a string slice. With a certain lifetime. That might be why... Well... Those strings need to live this at least as long as the spans do. They do though, don't they? Yeah, you know what? We'll just do it their way. Uh, let's see... They map, they clone. We'll even do the collecting right here, as they do. Oop, collect. No, 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 no. There we go. Yeah, this doesn't know what the type is, but I'm guessing that the compiler might do. We're back to 23 errors. Uh, let's see. You know what? This is just gonna confuse everything. So we'll just do the collect down here. Where we're sure that we know what we type we want what we want the type to be. Still a 23 errors though. That's disappointing. Oh, right, we probably do the wrong thing here. We're back to 20 errors and another warning. Okay. So, yeah, okay, this time it's fair. Uh, we have not imported spans yet. And it's, it doesn't seem like it's gonna do it either. I don't get where you put it out here. Text, span, and spans. <laughs> We're up, up two errors now. Okay. I don't, it doesn't feel much like fixing things when the errors keep going up every time, time I try to introduce a solution. And... Burr, 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 burr. Just having some water. It's complaining that 
expands the sod implement. I thought that was what the clones clone thing would do. Am I wrong? Oh, clone the. Right, right, because I'm cloning the wrong thing. Ugh. You know what? This is just silly. Right. Cloned. That's something completely different. <laughs> okay, there we go. That should make everything work. Oh, fam famous last words. And we're seeing 19 errors. Yay. But we're still up to one warning, so we're we're apparently doing something wrong elsewhere. I'm assuming. Uh, do we see anything? Not really. Right, let's move on to the next error. Uh, oh, right, we're not using span anymore. That's fine. We'll remove span. There we go. Down that one error again. Let's see the trait bound. Tui text text. Okay, in command bar. Line 150. Paragraph new texts iter. Right, it's apparently not liking this. From an iter of span it's not implemented for TUI text right so this should probably be spans then right it says right here actually it can convert from spans now wait a second. It does can can convert from span. Is it borrowed? No. It can create a text. This wants something that can be converted into text. Right. Let's let's have a look at text then. can do from a vec of spans or just a straight spans so this seems to be let's see right so I'm guessing these three actually need to be spans which I find a bit weird, but it might just be what we need. We're gonna do this. We're gonna import spans from here, or rather, do we actually need both of them? Oh, I don't know. Let's build and see what happens. Let's just make sure I don't scroll past the correct one here. Let's see, here we go. <clears throat> and Spans does, of course, not have styled on them. 
Okay, let's have a look at this uh, fancy pants spans then. A string composed of clusters of graphemes, each with their own styles. Right? problem is I'm trying to create a paragraph. So let's have a look at the paragraph instead and see if that helps us. The par paragraph just wants something. See the, the way they create it over here is they create, create, they create a Vec of spans by creating a vec of spam. Okay. So spans is a multiple of a spam. And text is a multiple of a spans. Right, so each spans is a, is a line. And within that line, you might have multiple span, which is okay. Okay, that makes sense, I think. <clears throat> so if we go back here, uh, let's undo this and this. So, right, see, because here we're using a new line, and this should probably be the start of a new span, actually. I'm thinking. Hmm. This might require some rethinking of how we lay out text here. But I think the easy solution here is this is an echo span. So we'll just create a, a vec of, oh, of spans, that one, from text, like so. And now everyone's happy. Except for me, because I'm a bit confused about what to do with If we should, hmm. I will probably keep it like to, uh, we'll, we'll keep it like this for now. And we'll just have to do some extensive looking around inside the, uh, inside the app after changing all this to see if this works out still. And maybe experiment with switching this out for a span, uh, a spans containing span. <laughs> afterwards because that might be the more idiomatic way to do it in in TUI now but it might break stuff we'll see we'll see uh is this more command bird stuff yes line 165 probably the same treatment there let's see this is a vec of spam right so we'll remove the iter, that's old stuff. 
and we will add a parentheses and a bracket. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Because then we can add a vec bang bracket spans from parentheses. Yes. Do we have, yeah, we do have spans imported. It's the same file. Components mod line 193. A new paragraph and the contents are of T, where T is an iterator of span, right? Now my question becomes, does it need to be an iterator at all at this point? Could probably just collect it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this creates a dilemma. Should we maybe make this more specific to reduce the potential overhead or should we just go ahead and make as few changes as possible? And we're going to make as few changes as possible for now. We'd probably optimize this later. The question becomes, do we want to postpone it in fear of it never being done and probably losing context of why the change needs to be done at all? Or should we spend more time doing that now? Ugh, dilemmas. I'm guessing we're going to need to do the same down here. So let's do that. That's at least that one. 198. Here we go. Title style is now deprecated. Uh, if we do this, maybe. Tell styles deprecated since 010. You should you should use styling capabilities of text spans given as arguments to the title method to apply styling to the title. Right, so presumably in here. No? No, then this is the block. Uh, we need to do title, I'm guessing. Nope. What's it say in here again? Okay, we'll have a look at block then. See what it has to say. Uh, widgets block spans right 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 you should style the spans directly instead of the thing yeah 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 that makes sense that makes a lot more sense so title with it what is it it's a string just oh, okay that's nice so we can create a span styled from title and the style should be theme title focused like so and we probably have to do the same here so we'll do this this is span styled 
title and theme title focused and remove this nice that's not too bad two third uh, let's see 198 213 and yeah, that's this one it just moved one line up And then it's 219. That's, uh, yep, that should be right. Um, no method name modifier in details. Line 115. Yeah, so this is add modifier. And 126. But I can infer from styled. Right, so it's trying to figure out what's happening here. <laughs> so it, we're making a own string from a string slice and then trying to use into to make it to a string slice again. That's, that's a roundabout way of going about things. Okay, so this should be a bit clearer. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, that's just all about this. Then there is commit list. Line, where, where was I? 209. So what's the type of the author? It's string. String with a line, okay. Yeah, so we'll probably just do this then. Aster. So that's that one. Uh, let's see. Next error. Commit list 308. We're probably bumping up against the same thing. <clears throat> Uh, do, 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 do. What does this return? A vec of spam, which means we need to create a vec. We need this, and we need. Well, let's see. A uh, uh, parens and a bracket, I think spans from don't think we have that imported no let's just fix this one first so this should go in here what is title it's a string right I'm just going to do this to make it important. <laughs> yeah, so this can do directly from string, actually. Ooh, that goes back to our previous thing. Hmm. Probably should have done. Okay, let's see. Uh, title. True. Apparently. That's what this is. So we go back one step. Now I'm in commit list. Was details was the last one I was in. Um, there was this one, but there was this one place where I put in Aster. Was it in here? Was it that one that I just looked at? Aster. return string yeah so this could just be this now oh uh, this oh it didn't like that 
Oh, right, because then... <laughs> right, uh, well, hmm, doesn't matter. Don't matter. That was commit list 308. That's a big error. Now it's time for diff 560. What do we have here? A vec of spans. So we'll do the way with this. Actually, we'll just do a way with this. We'll do a vec of spans from txt. And here we have a title style thing. Um, so we'll do span styled. Do away with the aster. Uh, self theme title. Oops. Self dot focused like so. Move this. was the warning that was that yeah uh, let's see warning do, 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 do. 565 that's what we just did error inside of external editor line 103 yeah so this is the same thing this is a vec of spans we'll just do a replacement inside of here vec of spans actually from uh, text. We got the same thing here. Interesting. Where does it set the text of this block? I don't actually see. Huh. It does set some text on the paragraph. But it does not set any text on the block itself. I think we're fine just removing this. Because the border style still remains. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a warning for 108, that's right. And then there is help. Line 70. Let's see. Whew. Okay. So this uses get text, which returns a vec of spam. Right. So uh, get text. That's what we need to remember. Need a vec of spans from self.get text, like so. That's that error. Let's see. Line 77. Yes, so this just needs another layer of stuff. Let's see, like this and vec of spans from. There we go. Uh, this is help 206. Span styled. Uh, we. Okay, we still kind of need this. Again, I, I'm thinking this is somewhere where we might actually be better served just by using a spans with an empty span and a key, I'm guessing. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, what is TXT? It's a text uh, yeah, thing in my jig. Okay. What's it actually complaining about, though? Oh, the modifier. There we go. So hung up on spans and 
Spans and spanses. I didn't recognize uh, another error. Let's see. Uh, in message, MSG39. What do we got here? A bit of span. Span from a cow. That's not something we do anymore. Uh, let's see. Remove one of these. Then there's one in on 944. Yeah, this is the same thing. So we just need another vec of spans from TXT, like so. Right, and here's a span um, styled. Ooh. What happened now? Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Styled and that's supposed to be itself. Theme takes danger. Let's remove that. That's that warning. Text input. Line one three three. Yeah, this should be add modifier. Same goes for this. Three nine, yeah, one forty nine. Paragraph new. Where's this? A uh, different file. <laughs> uh, yes, one forty nine, wasn't it? Yeah. Right. So get option text. I'm guessing is returning a deck of span. Yep. Uh, sure. Let's um. <clears throat> so we need a parens and a square bracket and the parens on the outside and the closing for this one I'm thinking. No, that's not, yeah. So we need the vec and the spans. From yeah, suspense is not imported. Uh, let's see. So nice me. Text. Span and spans. Then there is a warning in mod UI in line 105. Right, so this is the title. The title is a stir. So span from title where this should be theme dot title selected. Next one is scroll list line fifty four. What's this? List new. The trait from L is not implemented for standard vector widget list item. Right. Yes, these change type. So if you have a look, bright screen coming up. Three, two, one. <clears throat> so before, they were just strings. List default items. List new self items. Okay. But now they need to be list items instead. So list dot new express an input that can be converted from a vec list item where a list item is a wrapper around the item content to provide additional styling capabilities. List item contains a text. Right. But text can yeah, be uh be made from a string slice. List items has been removed. So these are self dot items, right? Wow, okay. That's not very helpful. 
which are of type L, where L is an iterable, an iterator of spans. Right. I'm thinking we have to look up list item. From. Yeah, that's not very helpful. Something that could be turned into text. Ugh, sheesh. Uh, okay. That's not as elegant. Ah, well. This is an iter iterator of span. So, all we need is a vec of spans from I, uh, the, the, the self the items. Do we need to collect this? We'll leave it as is and see. Am I truly at the bottom? Yeah, it seems so. Okay, let's try building. Okay, down to eight errors. That's progress and only one error, uh, one warning. Let's jump back to message, line 44. <clears throat> Use of anti-clicker type. Yeah, well, that's fine. Uh, let's see, and there's also this that needs to go. And we need to import spans. So, then there's mod in components, line 193, which says, cannot infer type for struct spans, cannot satisfy. Yeah, so this is one of those where I just collected this. Hmm, and the same goes for this. Let's just try to remove the collect part and see if that works better. Uh, let's see, then it's commit list, line 315. It's complaining that can it infer type of struct? In paragraph new. This doesn't seem right. Wait a second, am I reading the wrong error? No, wait, what? <laughs> now I'm in commit list. 315. Oh, oh, I, was, I typed from, I mean, my meant styled. There we go. That took a while. Now let's see. External editor, line 98. Uh, yeah, this is from, this probably not me to be into. Let's see, there we go. That's probably more right. Mod in UI, line one three. Same thing here. This should be styled. Scroll list. 54. Right. <clears throat> Can I convert? Yes.
So what I'm trying, we're trying to make a scrollable list. Where L is an iterator of spans. But what I've done doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> uh, that does not make any sense at all. Uh, no. Let's see. Let's try that. <laughs> Let's try that again. What I think we need is self items. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, this six owner shift, yeah. So self.items map spans from right because again, yep, gonna do that directly. So now we have a spans. So at this point we just need the vec to change that to something that can become a text. Like so. Is that less error? Yes, it is. Let's build again and see what we get. Three errors. Wow. They all fit inside a single screen now. <clears throat> okay, so this is still not fixed. What's it saying? Trait from vec of map of span. Right, mm, this probably needs a collect. I'm guessing, let's just do. It's uncertain about the type. No, no, I think I'm doing this all wrong. Let's see. So what this wants is, uh, not that, but yeah, that's not very helpful. This wants something that can be converted into a vec of list item. Right. <clears throat> and to get a, let's, uh, okay, bright screen coming up in three, two, one, here we go. Uh, oh, nice, right. Not yet. <laughs> and this list item needs something that can be converted. Okay, okay, now I see what we're doing wrong. Right, so we're getting a list of spans and each of these spans should be a different list item, I'm thinking. That sounds right, yeah. Which means we want self, oh, that's not what we want. Self dot items, those are spans. So we'll, uh, we'll make them spanses. Oops by doing from. So now I have an iterable, iter iterable or an iterator of spanses, which will then map to list item, I think. which gives us an iterator of list items, which we then collect 
maybe not necessarily collect even. We'll just build this and see what happens. Yeesh. <laughs> okay, something that can be made into a Vec of list item. You know what, I should actually look up what they do in the documentation for this. Yeah. At this point, I might be st uh, banging my head against the XY problem, which is if you have, you have problem Y, which you're trying to solve. So you go around finding a way to solve Y, but you're stuck at X. So I, you want to do something, which is X, to be able to get to Y. So you ask someone, how do I do X? Uh, because I can't get it to work. And people will try to help you to find out how do you solve X. But it turns out that there's a much simpler way to accomplish Y, to solve Y, if we just ask that question instead. So instead of asking, I have this specific problem, how do I solve it? You should actually ask, I'm trying to solve this other thing, the actual thing that I'm trying to solve. How do I solve that? Because there might be, right, as if in this case, I'm doing all this, right, going through all these steps to get to what I hope would be a Vic of list item. But there might actually be a super simple way to just go from items to directly to, li to list items, which I'm completely uh, ignorant, ignorant of or, or not catching up on uh, or catching on to at this point. <clears throat> and that is the question. So this is list item, yes. But we're actually more interested in list itself. How do they make the items? They make an array of list item from string sizes. That's very helpful. <laughs> Man. Okay, so apparently list item does implement from string slice. Right, because text implements from string slice. I'm guessing is really the rest type system that smart? If so, nice. There's only a blanket implementation. Oh, this is list. Um, list item. Here is only the bank of the implementation. Huh. It seems like it's that smart. Let's have another look at test. From string slice, from directly from a span. So why do I don't why don't I do that instead? So I have a span, and what I actually want is just this. And then I can do this. And we'll see if that's not easier. Does that work? Ugh, no. Uh, actually, let's try putting the collect thing back in. Let's see if it works then. It does not. Let's see. Method not found.
expected signature. Wait, what? <laughs> Doesn't... List item from list... Wait, wait, what? That doesn't make much sense, does it? Well, if we remove this step then, that might work. Uh, let's try this. Mm-hmm. So I have a, okay, let's see if I can do, if I just add back collect, does that work? No, it's uncertain still what it's supposed to do. Can I help it along with the turbofish? Uh, a vec of list item? Let's see. From iterator, text is not implemented for our list item. Right, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just being silly. We will do, no, we'll keep the text here, but what we'll do actually is move this, and make this new. There we go. That should work. Famous last words. <laughs> ah, of course it doesn't. And let's add the collect back in. case it doesn't understand what it's supposed to do here. Is this not a... Okay, so L is an iterator. Let's see, here. L is an iterator where L is a iterator of span of T is span, uh, is a span, right? And if we have a span, we're, we're able to create a text from it. And then we can put those texts, texts inside of a list item. And we can collect those. Can we not? Can it infer the type of the parameter T declared on the associated function new. How can it not? It's supposed to be set right here. It wants me to be more specific. So maybe like a a vec of list item? Is that so, is that what's confusing it? It did fix it. Okay, that's sure. I'm guessing that the compiler is looking too much at this signature to try to figure out what this collect should do instead of looking at this, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay, that kind of makes sense. I mean, I kind of see why it, why it does it that way. Uh, let's see, I'm importing spans, I'm not using it. The mod in components, line 193. Line three. Uh, 
from T is not implemented for two E text spans. Right, so write this again. What is what is paragraph expecting again? Something that's gonna be turned into text. Right. Is it content that it's choking on? Yes. Okay. So again, maybe we need to collect this, but give it a hint. So these are, this is supposed to be a vec of span. Yeah. Let's do the same here. Uh, no, collect. Oh. And this will be a vec of span. Spawn. God. Still two errors. A value of type vec of span cannot be built from an iterator over elements of borrowed. Oh, right, they're borrowed. That's interesting. That is interesting. Hmm. <clears throat> they are indeed borrowed. Do they have to be? Yeah, I guess. Does that help? No, because all of these expect them to be owned. What did we do before? We iterated, didn't we? Yeah. Let's go back. Uh, all the way back to this. <clears throat> Actually, let's go. So paragraph apparently just needed a borrowed text before. Okay, we're gonna look have a look at the signature. So warning, there's come there's a bright screen coming. Documentation. I mean, this is one of the nicest things with wor uh, uh, with working with Rust. I mean, you have DocsRS, which are which is super nice in itself, but then of course you have all the previous versions of the docs too, which means you can easily go back and see what was actually the implementation before this version, which is, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this seems very much the product of 
this, which is interesting. So the reason this returns a paragraph of tick a, tick t, of t, is because the new, uh, um, the new function returns that kind of paragraph. So does that mean that if I do this and go forwards, it now just returns a tick A. Interesting. So they've simplified this, you might say. But where T can be turned into a text. Right, so what we do then is we fast forward. We actually remove a lot of these annotations because they're not needed anymore. Like so. Okay, so the content thing, yeah, hmm. No, we're just gonna borrow this string, I think. And this is just gonna be uh, of t. No, I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> uh, we need the, yeah, so we need to do this. We can still borrow this, I think. Right, and we need the T because that's the type of the content, but this does not need to be of T anymore. <laughs> this should actually be own spans anyways. It's not really a reason why they're not. Yes. So that means we can probably drop this collect. Let's do the same down here. So we're going to delete this. I'm going to remove this thing. And we're going to remove this. Let's see how we get on now. Okay, we're moving. We're getting closer. Uh, we need to remove this borrow thing. We need to specify the lifetime. Okay. Not a problem. We can sp oh, we can specify lifetime. I'm just hoping. I don't think it's gonna. Oh, I don't think it's gonna mess up anything. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're up a few errors. That's always nice. <clears throat> from T is not implemented from span. Spans from is not satisfied. So I'm guessing that this spans also need to be tick A, which will probably give us a text of tick A, which will give us a paragraph of tick A. I'm guessing. Yes, we're up another two errors. <laughs> oh no, we're just moving further and further away from our goal. Uh, let's see. Right, this is not the right place to use them. Um, do we turbo fish it? Is that the right way to do it? Uh, no, not here, not like this. Uh, let's see. Is that the right way to do it? I'm a bit um, damaged by C sharp syntax sometimes, forgetting where stuff goes. Uh, 
Okay, still have the same number of errors. Unexpected lifetime argument. Yeah, and Spans is complaining about the... Okay, let's see. What do you actually want, Spans? We would so want some text tick of A, which can be created from a vec of spans of tick of A, of tick, tick A, and that can be created from uh, a vec of span of tick A. You can get a spans of tick A. Right, so I'm guessing then we need to collect this. Is that right? Uh, let's see. Let's go back a bit to where we didn't have these. Let's go for collect. Maybe just to collect. Let's see how that works out. Yeah, not too good. <laughs> kind of for type from Stark. Okay, okay, we're we're getting closer. Uh, I think that we might do this. Let's put in some fishes. There we go. Don't really feel like I'm moving closer to a solution. Unexpected lifetime argument. That is actually quite fair. And that's a strange place to put it. I'll grant you. Uh, this is supposed to become a vec of span of TK. And that goes for this too. So this is supposed to become a vec of span of tick A. Okay, let's try this. Okay, fewer errors, that's progress. Actually it is, it actually worked. Okay, so now we're moving on to details. Line 289. And it is complaining that we're trying to create a dialogue paragraph, but it's uh, what's it sending here? Type mismatch resolving. Iter of span as iterator or item is span. Okay. So what do we get here? A vec of spans. Right. So we have a vec of spans and then we create an iterator and then we collect that iterator as the first thing we do. Is that what I'm reading here now? Uh, let's see. Pretty much, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, dilemma. It might be optimized, actually. Uh, it might be seeing that, oh, we're going, we're going from a vec to, to an iterator and back to a vec. So it might just optimize away the step between them. But it feels a bit heavy-handed at this point.
Expected struct. Span. Found reference. Required by a bound in this. Required by this bound. Expected struct span, but found a reference to a struct. Yes, because it's an iterator over the thing. So if we go, uh, that's not what we're supposed to go back. If we go back, not here, maybe here, this is the one. Do we, do we go all the way back to this? But then again, this becomes this, I think, which is not what we want, I do not think. Well, we're down to two errors. Let's see, uh, a value of type vec of span cannot be built from an iterator or elements. Yes, that makes sense. That's 194. 214 says the trait bound spans from vec of span is not satisfied. <laughs> yeah, so spans require an actual actual ownership. Which makes sense, I think. So we revert this and we basically say these need to be owned, right? So just to have a look over here, it is returning a proper thing. So I don't see a reason why we can't just do this. And I think that solves it. I hope. Looks like it. Okay, let's try. 313. Trying to do the same thing. to iter. Any more of these in this file? No, nope. that's only those two. Uh, let's look in reset, line 39. Make a span that we iterate over. This feels very redundant, doing the, creating the vec, then iterating over it just to create a vec again. This this feels silly. Anyway, there is something to be said about modularity, I think, but I'm not really sure I buy into it so far. Uh, what's this? This is... <sighs> Components mod 205. Ugh. Text input, I'll do that first. 175. There we go. Let's just see how this turns out. Three errors still. Okay. For some reason, the tab stopped working again. Okay. Ah, this is always nice. Um, <clears throat> and 
details. 313. Expected struct span found reference. Creates a consuming iterator, that is, one that moves each value of the out of the vector. The vector cannot be used after calling this. Right, that's exactly what I wanted though. You know what? I'm just gonna change this. So instead of making Well, I do kind of see the... Hmm. Hmm, I do kind of see the appeal of just it just being in it, some kind of iterator. Instead of a specifically a VEC, but I still feel it's a bit silly. Okay. And it's by this bound. And it's complaining that it got a wrong kind of reference. So let's say details, details. But the, this is a vector of span. And this should return an iterator of span. It's doing the same multiple places where it's complaining about the, that it's getting a reference. And I don't really get why. Well, I get this one, the, the recent one. That's because it's, Oh, I'm looking at some old data. Okay, that explains a lot of things. <laughs> ah, man. Temporary value drop while it's borrowed. Okay, that's actually something we can look into. So five, three, four. Yeah, that's probably an argument for doing it up there. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So we'll do the collect over here. And the uh, result is a vec of spans. But that's not what this one's apparently. of tick A or whatever. That doesn't make it more right, does it? No. Hmm. Vec of spanses.
Wait, why is it borrowed? Oh, right, was it? Wow, that's, because it's just right there. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Did I just screw that up because of this borrow over here? Like so? <laughs> yeah, it did. No, wait. Creates a temporary, which is free, but it's only used borrow. Temporary values freed at the end of this statement. Borrow later used here. Right, so it should probably just go straight into a collection, or, or a VEC rather. So we'll collect this. It'll create a VEC of spans. Now it's commit list 210. This borrowed string, add entry. Lifetime aids defined here. A one seventy four. Author. Borrow value does not live long enough. Argument requires author is borrowed for tick A. Author is dropped here while still oh while still oh crap. While it's still borrowed. Right. Why am I making it a stir though? Can I just move it? I think I can. Yeah, I can. Holy crap, we're building. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Yes, we are. A lot of stuff's broken here, though. <laughs> yep. A lot of broken stuff. <clears throat> yeah, so this is fun. If this list work for some reason, uh, and this one, uh, this, however, is broken. <laughs> and so is this. Oh, they're all horizontal now, for some reason. Oh, right, because we're new lining and it doesn't actually support that anymore. So yeah, all those new lines, we actually need to fix those. Okay. <laughs> That's fine though, uh, I'm not gonna do that tonight. I'm going to bed. It's um, almost one in the morning, local time, and uh, yeah, I need my, sure, beauty sleep, we'll call it. So yeah. Anyway, uh, this actually was a great end, uh, being able to build and run the application again after upgrading, so that's fun. That means progress, so it probably means we've made everything the right types, so now we just need to figure out the behavior and fix that. And I think it's the new lines that's their problem. So that's good. Anyway. This was, uh, this was fun in the end, so uh, thanks for sticking around, those of you who did, and I'll uh, hope to see you next time. Bye!